sometimes they are, and sometimes they're not. Welcome to this episode of Am I the Asshole? Our first one is from Trash Bag Drama. Am I the asshole for telling my stepfather my stepsister stole from me? I provide rides to my stepsister, Rita, 16, to school. I am 23 female, work, and go to school online. I pay some rent and help out with utilities and food costs. I have my own room with a bathroom and lock. I don't usually lock the door because I trusted my family not to take my shit. Yesterday, I made a stop at the gas station. My card declined, so I went into my glove box to get my emergency cash. It was missing, and I saw it there earlier when I put my vape in there. Rita was in the car. I told her if she did not give me back the vape and cash, I was telling the cop parked nearby what she did. She returned the items and freaked out. I told her I was going to drop her off at school, then talk to my stepdad about this. I also said this was the last ride she was getting from me. She was ugly crying by the time I dropped her off. She said she had plans for Halloween and she needed the money for the costume. I told her I didn't care. I said she was done stealing shit from me and she needed to find her own ride from now on. Which means she will have to quit her club because no one else can take her. We live pretty far away so she'll have to take the bus. I told my stepdad when I got home what Rita did. Richard ended up going through her room. He went through every inch of it and found a bunch of stuff I thought I lost. Clothing, makeup, decorations. He pretty much stripped the room of everything, minus her bed and clothes. Even then, he asked my mom to see what belonged to her. Rita had taken a lot of things from my mom and myself and we took it back. Rita was told she's getting a job to pay back what she took, about a thousand in makeup, and she's not going anywhere anytime soon. No Halloween, no prom, nothing. Am I the asshole? Definitely not. I mean, in reality, if you didn't do something about it, I guarantee she'd continue to take things from not just you, but your mother as well. And who knows if it would have escalated further to taking much more valuable things. This next one is by Scars and Strips. Am I the asshole for telling my husband I didn't want to use the bath mats his parents gave us 10 years ago anymore? Am I the asshole for telling my husband the bath mats his parents gave us weren't my style? We recently renovated our bathrooms and I thought the bath mats needed an upgrade to match. My husband was really, really upset and said what's wrong with the old mats? So I responded that they are 10 years old, and furthermore, I didn't even pick them out. They were a gift from his parents. He was livid and said that I was being super rude and offensive, and that he was going to give them back to his parents, saying I'm ungrateful. Then he started to berate my parents, saying that he's going to tell them how much he doesn't like their gifts. I was caught off guard because I really didn't mean to insult his parents. I was simply making the point that they weren't something I had picked out. Plus, that was four bathrooms ago, and they didn't match our current place, even putting aside the fact that they're 10 years old. He's been giving me the silent treatment since then, last night, and told me to do the kids' drop-offs and pickups myself this week. He also angrily tossed and turned yesterday, shouting that he's so mad he can't sleep. I tried to be calm and said I apologized and didn't mean any insults and that I'm still learning his trigger points. And can he please consider that he misinterpreted? He got even more mad and told me to get off my high horse. Is this a gross overreaction or was my comment really offensive? For context, he is very frugal and doesn't like to spend money on anything, so sometimes I'll just make purchases anyway if I think it's too much and worth the argument afterward. I don't think you're the asshole, I mean, yeah, using a gift, if you used them for 10 years, I feel like they definitely saw more than enough use, and I feel like the only way you would be an asshole is if you got something and then just immediately were like, yeah, I don't want to use these at all. 
Your husband, no offense, sounds like a grown-ass man baby and uh, he needs to get his shit together. This next one is from Just Profile 2365 Am I the asshole for refusing to attend my sister's wedding due to a scheduling conflict? My sister Emma is getting married in a few weeks and I've been excited to be part of her special day. However, here's where the dilemma begins. I'm a medical student and my final exams are scheduled to take place on the same day as her wedding. This wasn't my choice, it's a university mandated exam date. I've been working tirelessly for years to get to this point and failing these exams is not an option. I explained the situation to Emma and she was extremely upset. She accused me of not caring about her being selfish and prioritizing my education over her big day. She even said that I could find a way to make it work if I wanted to. Her and my parents are putting a lot of pressure on me to reschedule the exams or find a way to attend the wedding. I feel caught between a rock and a hard place. I don't want to miss my sister's wedding, but I also can't jeopardize my entire medical career because of the scheduling conflict. Am I the asshole for choosing my exams over her wedding, or is she being unreasonable in her expectations? I feel like this situation is just a shitty one because it doesn't matter what you do, you lose one way or the other. I definitely don't think you're an asshole for choosing your career over a wedding. And our final one is by She Is Always Drama. Am I the asshole for declining to go to my half-sister's therapy session? I, 22 female, have a half-sister, Skylar, 25 female. Throughout our lives, Skylar has constantly blamed my existence for anything that goes wrong for her. No relationship with Dad? It has nothing to do with him being an emotionally crippled cretin, he just must have preferred me. Grew up in a bad part of town? Nothing to do with her parents, it's because my dad couldn't afford to pay child support because he was paying for me. Her mother is a narcissistic witch? Not her mother's fault. My fault because my dad cut her off from my mother, which sent her mother into a depression. I inherited more money than her? My fault for being alive. On and on it goes. Evidently, I rarely see her, even though we live in the same city. She contacted me out of the blue a couple weeks ago and asked me to come to a therapy session with her. Apparently, it would be healing for her to talk to me about her feelings about the favoritism I received as the family's golden child. I just laughed. I told her I can't spare an hour of my time to be whined at about things that have nothing to do with me, no matter how much she'd like to pretend that they do. She said it would be really helpful for her and I said it would be boring for me, so absolutely not, and I hung up. A couple of my friends are saying I was the asshole for not going, since I live so close to her therapist's office. They said I should go and let her get her feelings out, because it costs me nothing, and clearly she needs it. But I feel like it's a waste of my time to go and get berated for being born. Am I the asshole? It sounds like your half-sister has a lot of fucking issues that she just doesn't seem to know how to resolve and if her way to resolve those are to blame you and to drag you into a therapy session to try to blame you in there, I don't think she, she would actually reach the resolution that she's trying to seek anyway. But I'm kinda with you, I wouldn't want to go and be complained at about something that I literally had no control over. All because it seems like somebody has just a personal grudge against me. Definitely not the asshole. Alright, that's enough stories for the day. Well that wraps up this episode of Am I the Asshole? If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.